I'm Mr. Charles Carter. I currently study marketing at Leeds Market University. This is my vlog to show my personal, interpersonal, self-development and knowledge. First off, let's talk about me. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Leeds. I chose Leeds Market University as a university has a great reputation for a business school. This will have been reinforced by the guest lectures, the actual lectures, seminars and the tutors which have been equally brilliant. For work, I work at Leeds United doing hospitality work. It's a job I really enjoy. Previously, I worked at McDonald's for nearly two years, but that showed me a bit massive insight into marketing and got my interest in marketing flowing. First off, I want to talk about the transition from uh, sixth form to university. I initially chose to go to sixth form instead of college uh, because it was easier for me and it suited me at the time. Uh, looking back on the decision, perhaps it would have been better for me to go to a college um, to get a better independent learning experience, better suited for university, as one of the things I struggled with at university is independent learning. Uh, one way of challenging that and making me a better learner is to be more organised. One of the major factors that have been moving out of home, even though I still live in the city of Leeds, I need to live with my mum or dad. Um, it's been a massive learning curve for me and some different responsibilities. One of them being is how to balance everything. I have to balance my work life, my education, and my home life, including cooking and cleaning for myself. But I find it's really challenging, but in a sense, really rewarding. I've become a much, much more independent person, a much more mature person, and now I rely on my mum and dad for basically nothing. I really enjoy this now. Another major change for me is how to write. Previously in high school and sixth form it was an essay format, now in university it's a report format. I do find writing in the report format a lot easier on me and the structure to the work which I lack. However, it's not what I used to so I struggled with it at the first few weeks, but now doing it weekly in each seminar has really benefited me and now I'm really comfortable writing in the report format for each module. The way it's structured allows me to understand my work better. At least at university I have learnt the importance of using textbooks. During high school and sixth form I never really saw the importance of them. However at university, when it's a more independent study, they are very important. This is the one I use for marketing in action. It's a book very useful for revision and to learn new stuff about marketing. At university I've had to learn how to reference properly. I have learnt this through the quote unquote resource on the Leeds Beckett blackboard. I struggled with this at the start as I'm not used to it. However now I've been to the and I use it a few times in a few of my essays and reports, I now come comfortable with it. One resource that's been really helpful for my transition from sixth form to university was the personal performance factor sheets. These are a set of questions designed to help you in your learning. Um, initially I thought it was quite a stupid idea and something I didn't really need to look on myself or reflect on myself, um, but since doing them they've taught me what type of learner I am. Um, how I like to work, if I like to structure and stuff, it's been really helpful for me. Uh, it made me become a, a lot better learner in terms of revision, um, at the actual uni, my lectures and my seminars, they have been brilliant for me. Um, they have a, they feature a little box at the bottom which helps you comment and I've never before at sixth form or in high school looked at myself and reflected on my learning. Um, I've always tended to um, deflect and look at other people for their for their, their thoughts in my learning instead of actually looking at myself with these sheets they've been very helpful. Another thing I learned from the personal performance factor sheets was that I, I struggle to deal with pressure. Um, this may stem from being at high school and sixth form where there's not that much pressure from the teachers applied on you as a student. Uh, coming to university, pressure is a massive thing in terms of having three different modules, three exams and all of the uh, coursework and the assessments that you have to do within the seminars. Um, so to deal with this, in my revision, I've started timing myself for exam questions. Um, and for each deadline that I have set, I give myself, I set myself a target of doing the work the week before, which puts more pressure on me. 
um, but gets me used to some situations that I've never been used to before in my life. Uh, well, in education really. One of the things I learned from these personal performance factor sheets was that I um, have always relied on other people helping me, which was mainly teachers at sixth form at high school. Um, from doing these sheets, I have looked at myself and thought, um, how can I improve without other people, other people's influence? Um, in terms of revision seminars, I have used, become more of an independent learner. I've learned new ways, new techniques to help me um, without just relying on that, having that safety net of a teacher or even um, a peers to help me along. Since completing the personal performance factor sheets, I found myself to be a visual learner. This changed a surprise to me, as I assumed I was an auditory learner. However, since completing the sheets, I incorporated visual learning techniques into my revision. This, inclu this includes using strong colours, including highlights for my revision, as well as writing stuff down within the seminars and lectures to help me remember things. Another resource that I found really useful was Enterprise and You. Um, these are a set of tasks designed to help you understand yourself as a learner more. Uh, one thing that I really took away from this was a live shit tour. It was something that I wasn't really familiar with coming into it, uh, but I took it away and used it still, still um, to help balance my social life, my studies, my uh, part-time job. I found it really useful for me. And now I'm going to talk about my strengths. One of my biggest strengths I feel is I'm a good team player. I've illustrated this with high school sixth form and my part-time jobs. Being a team player is vital in the business world, especially in marketing, as everyone affects marketing, so you have to be in touch with the lowest member of staff to the highest. Another strength of mine is my creativity. My creativity was one of the reasons I chose marketing, as marketing is a course or a career that allows you to be in touch with your creativity. Another skill of mine, I believe, is I'm a very personal person. This allows me to build relationships with peers, colleagues. I've illustrated this through high school sixth form and my part-time jobs. Hopefully, I'm set to at university now with my peers. This is a great skill to have in marketing as it allows you me to build relationships with customers and build a great customer relationship. My biggest weakness, I believe, is my lack of organisation. This may stem from being at sixth form where I wasn't um, and I've used to plan on how I used to revise all my studies and just get on with it. This is for me at the university is not viable. Uh, to help overcome this lack of organisation, I've utilised lead budget resources such as the Google Calendar app which I found really helpful. Um, it helps me plan when I need to do work, when work needs to be handed in, um, as well as using a planner and a small stuff like using a chart on my wall, a planner on my computer, just so I know fully when work needs to be handed in. The major weakness is my presentation struggles. I have really struggled in the first few weeks of university having to be put under pressure to do these presentations. Um, I've tried to improve myself by doing different techniques, using handout cards, using um, sheets to revise off. I really struggle with that. However, being at university, hopefully putting that, that pressure under me and having to do it will make me a better pre presenter, especially in the world of marketing where presentation is vital. Um, I hope to improve over the next three, four years to become a, a pro at it, but at the moment I am weak at it. I'm not sure what I want from the degree so far. Um, I would like to create either in football marketing or advertising. Um, to help me decide this career path, I'm going to try and get work in both sectors and see which suits me better and which I enjoy better. Um, why I want to use football marketing? Because I love our passion for football. I love it so much. I've been watching it and enjoying, enjoying it since I was a young kid. Um, I'm a massive fan of Leeds United as well, um, which I work there as well. So that gives me a, a sort of insight how to a club runs. The advertising interest comes from maybe my creativity, um, so perhaps working on both and see which suits me better is the best viable option for me. Um, I'm now looking for work during in between the summer of my first year and second year in football, and then I'm working for looking for advertising work in the year after. Hopefully, it will be a better insight to both career paths and which suits me better. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope now you understand a bit of my transition and my journey from high school to sixth form to the university. And hopefully I can have a great career through marketing.